So uh, what I've done here is I've put uh, a lot of filler over the hinges and the, and the wire connections, let it dry, let it go hard, and now I'm just sanding it back. It's going to need two or three coats of this uh, filler, places like this. It's so it's going to need a few coats, I think. I can already see the indents showing up here. It's also not flush. A lot of work to do with filling. It's, uh, to me, it's the most boring part, but it needs to be done. Otherwise you end up with a poor job. So I'm not going to do loads of video on this, um, but it needs to be done. Well, I've rubbed this down. What I've done here, I've sprayed it with um, a primer filler. So I've just got to let this, this touch dry at the moment, but I'm going to let it dry a bit more. And then, uh, guess what? Yep, I'll rub it down again. I want to do this part first, get that nice and smooth. Then I'm going to install the electronics, fit this over, fill it, and then sand the door. So what you can see here, I'm sanding away the filler primer that I've put on, and any low spots are shown by the primer now I've got a choice, I can try and file down to those spots, but if they're too low I just have to fill in again. And I've got a feeling this is too low because this is uh, the wire, so I think um, it's pretty smooth now. So what I think I'll do is um, just put a very thin coat of filler over it, and then sand again. Okay, I'm just going to leave that now, sand it down again, then I'll spray this again with filler primer. And I've got my rubbing block, we'll see what we come out with. video so I'll come back when I've finished. Well I've just about finished this. Right so not perfect but uh, it's not bad either so that's what I've done there the whole thing's been primed and rubbed down so the next job now that that's okay will be to install the electronics in the door right well I've uh, Finally, finally finished this. So this part will look pretty good when I've uh, painted it. So the next step now is to install the door electronics, seal this hatch up, and repeat the process of filling in the gaps and sanding it all down. But at least uh, we can put some electronics in this now. So let's get on with that. So I've just removed the masking tape. And before I do anything, I want to make sure that I haven't damaged my connections while doing all the sanding. So we'll start with the black. And if we hear the tone, we know that we've got uh, connectivity. Still good. 
we check the red. Perfect. Alright, so this is the circuit board that goes into the door. We've already done a test fit on it and I know that if I position this LED through the hole I've drilled here for it, the board will sit squarely over the appropriate holes, but I still need to test it. So it's these two wires, the black to the black and the red to the red. Now there are another two wires, which is yellow and black. They are for the reed switch for the ratchet sound on close, which will be installed after the board's gone in place. Now these wires are far too long, so I've got to allow for error, so I'm gonna cut them in half and then join these up. That'll give enough wire to maneuver the board around and also enough wire if I make any mistakes. Just make it a bit shorter. I don't know if I can do this on camera very well. I will try. Yep, that's the red. I don't even know if you can get to see this on camera. And that's the black. Well, the wires are on the board. They have a tiny piece of exposed wire. So I'm just going to increase that a little bit. Just got a bit more wire. So the first thing I will do is attach the red to the red and I do this by holding them together and just twisting the wires around. Now I say this on my other installs. At this point what I tend to do is fold it over and I will solder that, put some heat shrink on it to seal it. If you don't have those tools to do it then just put a bit of tape over it. All you've got to do is stop that exposed wire from shorting with anything. Now the next I will attach the black to black. But make sure you're using the black at the opposite end of the top of the board, not the black that's next to the yellow. So nothing I've done so far can't be undone. So what I'm now going to do is to position the board how I think it needs to go. Just like so. Now the first check is to turn it over and to see how the LEDs line up and they look pretty good. But I need to test it. Now I could connect my power supply to these, but that'd be missing an opportunity. If I connect my power supply to these wires, they're on the main part of the tricorder and that's where the battery will be. And it will be transferring the power through the hinges. So again, I get another test to show that it's all okay. So I'm gonna attach my red lead. Then my black lead, and then I'm going to put power to it. Now, as I said before, the green LEDs are spot on, the red's exactly where I want it. This red and blue's 100%, and this is dead in the middle. The only slight problem is these two blues that flash backwards and forwards are slightly out of alignment. But as this is all covered over, I don't really think that's going to matter. And of course I've got the green LED in the bottom there. So that's pretty much exactly where I want that. 
So the next job, I'm going to solder these, put a heat shrink on them and finish that off. The board fits so well into here, I could leave it like that and it'd be fine. But I'm not going to. I'm going to put a bit of hot glue just in some strategic places just to lock it down. So while I'm waiting for the soldered iron to heat up so I can uh, solder these power leads together, I've placed the reed switch and hot glued it in place. Now it needs testing because things have changed since I last set it up. So if I connect to one side of the reed switch, this is my sound meter again, then to the other. Now as the magnet in the body approaches the door, we should hear the tone. And then as the door and the magnet in the body move apart, the tone should stop. And that is fine. That will trigger the ratchet sound on close. And when we set this up, we can test it. Oh yes, plenty. We don't need much on here. There we are. And we do the same with the black. Just have to manoeuvre it around to get a good angle on it. I'm probably better doing it this way. Trying not to get my hands in the way. Oh, that's good. not very good, is it? That's better. Right. And then we want some heat shrink on those. So I've got these tiny pieces of heat shrink. You buy a heat shrink from most good DIY stores or electrical stores. I buy mine off eBay. Just pop that over there. And use the soldered iron to shrink it. Always fold mine over. That's one. Let's see what that's like. That's better. And to go over some of the wire, both the wires, because it helps give them support. I've done that one a bit short, but that's okay. That's done. Now for the reed switch, it's quite simple. We've got yellow to yellow and black to black. It's a bit fiddly, so you're not going to see much because my big hands are going to be in the way. But we do exactly the same thing. We join black to black and then yellow to yellow. Right, it's very fiddly, but I've joined the yellow from the circuit board to the yellow on the reed switch, and I've joined the black from the circuit board to the black on the reed switch, and it's the black wire that was next to the yellow wire. Now they're not soldered yet, I want to test these work. This will be my final chance to change anything. So you should now hear the ratchet when I close the door. Now because I don't have the power reed installed, because that all goes in this top part. So we open the door, you've got your ratchet. And then close the door, you've got the ratchet sound. That's operated by the reed switch interrupting the circuit. So these work, so I can do exactly the same with these. I'm going to solder these together and put some heat shrink over them. I've got some more heat shrink here. I'm just going to thread it over the yellow. And again, make sure you get those wires. It just gives them support on the joint. And one more, which is here. That's it. Bit of support for those wires. These will get tucked out of the way, obviously. 
So I'm going to keep that below that ridge. That's just on the ridge there, so I've got to be careful with that. It looks though like that'll be okay. And the same with this one. This one has to come down and perhaps tuck, tuck down there. Plenty of space there for it. These have to tuck down. They look fine. So the cover can go on there. Let's see how that fits. Okay, that's absolutely fantastic. Get that off. And I'm going to put some hot glue to hold this board in place. Good. 